Good evening, good evening, good evening, everybody. I'm very, very excited with tonight's call because tonight, one more sleep, and we have our first big event with the president of the African continent, Craig De Brain. He's with us tomorrow night in Bloempontine, and I've got him all to myself the night after. So I, Anri and Yulandi and the whole of Bloom can share him. I've got him on Thursday, so that's, that's enough for me. So, guys, welcome to tonight's call. Tonight's call is about momentum, and we all know that our business is all about momentum, all about momentum. So just before I start, we just make sure that everybody is muted so that we can do this thing nicely and we can sail smoothly through the thing. It's not going to be long. Not going to be long. I just want to, we decided we're going to do a call tonight and talk about momentum because momentum is our business, you know, and to get to momentum, certain things need to happen. Okay. You're on the call here today because you're a leader. Okay. And that's what the most important thing is in our business. It's the leaders that come forward and people watch the leaders and they start duplicating the leaders. So you will see now in this little video, it's a short three-minute video about momentum, what happens. So if you if you put this into context, let's say this, this John Travolta here that's going to dance, let's say he's me. I'm not the most important person. It's the people that come in after me that's more important because those are the people that generate the the teams, the momentum, the duplication, and that's where residual income comes in. So I'm not going to carry on waffling about this. Let's just watch this, and then I'll just give you guys a, a little chat after that. Learned a lot about leadership and making a movement. Then let's watch a movement happen start to finish in under three minutes and dissect some lessons. First, of course, a leader needs the guts to stand alone and look ridiculous. But what he's doing is so simple, it's almost instructional. This is key. You must be easy to follow. Now, here comes the first follower with a crucial role. He publicly shows everyone else how to follow. Notice how the leader embraces him as an equal. So it's not about the leader anymore. It's about them, plural. Notice how he's calling to his friends to join in. So it takes guts to be a first follower. You stand out and you brave ridicule yourself. Being a first follower is an underappreciated form of leadership. The first follower transforms a lone nut into a leader. If the leader is the flint, the first follower is the spark that really makes the fire. Now here's the second follower. This is a turning point. It's proof the first has done well. Now it's not a lone nut, and it's not two nuts. Three is a crowd, and a crowd is news. A movement must be public. Make sure outsiders see more than just the leader. Everyone needs to see the followers, because new followers emulate followers, not the leader. Now here come two more people, then three more immediately. Now we've got momentum. This is the tipping point, and now we have a movement. As more people jump in, it's no longer risky. If they were on the fence before, there's no reason not to join in now. They won't stand out, they won't be ridiculed, and they will be part of the in crowd if they hurry. And over the next minute, you'll see the rest who prefer to stay part of the crowd, because eventually they'd be ridiculed for not joining. And ladies and gentlemen, that is how a movement is made. So let's recap what we've learned. If you are a version of the shirtless dancing guy, all alone, Remember the importance of nurturing your first few followers as equals, making everything clearly about the movement, not you. Be public, be easy to follow. But the biggest lesson here, did you catch it? Leadership is over glorified. Yes, it started with the shirtless guy and he'll get all the credit, but you saw what really happened. It was the first follower that transformed a lone nut into a leader. There's no movement without the first follower. See, we're told that we all need to be leaders, but that would be really ineffective. The best way to make a movement, if you really care, is to courageously follow and show others how to follow. When you find a lone nut doing something great, have the guts to be the first person to stand up and join in. This is one of my favorites, Nick. So guys, you know, it's a very simple story there. You know, be courageous, be the leader, but teach others to follow, because that is the most important thing. And that is what tomorrow night and Thursday night is all about. The events are transformational. The events just take us to the next level. 
trust me, I've been in network marketing for eight, eight odd years. And I promise you now, events is where it happens. So um, Henry's also got an amazing uh, uh, um, example of, of, uh, of uh, momentum and, and reaching the tipping point. And um, Henry, show us this one because this I'll never forget this one. This is actually mm. what I remember the pals with. This is <clears throat> Uh, example. Yeah, thank you, Nick. And it's exactly what it says. You know, everyone don't have to be a leader. The main thing is just if you can start following and if you can, if we can just mute that one, please, guys. Thank you. I can't see that. Okay, guys. So how this works is um, we always go back to um, that was something that we researched in 2020 because I was very intrigued with the whole um, COVID-19 pandemic and I couldn't understand how that became a worldwide pandemic and how one little small virus could take over the world and once I've grasped this um, so I went into a bit of research my husband and I and we got onto this um, explanation and the moment we saw this we realized that this is exactly how how networking works this is exactly the business that we are in to create that momentum work so what they've done is they did a study and they took one drop of water. And what they did is they put that drop, one drop of water in the middle of a rugby stadium. Now, I want you not to think about a school rugby stadium. I want to think, let you think about an FNB or a shark tank or a um, Cape Town um, stadium. So they put one drop of water, guys. And one drop of water is one drop of water in the middle of the stadium. And every minute, this water drop multiplies. So what happened, this one drop became two drops. And those two drops every minute became four drops. Now, I want you to think, I mean, the drop on here shows like, oh, Nick, just mute there, please. Thanks. Thank you. The, the one drop, um, you know, it shows big in that, in that arena. But imagine yourself putting a little bit, a, a small drop on the drop of your garden or on your lawn back you know at the back of your of your garden I mean it disappeared so every minute they multiplied that now they did that until they went to um I just want to why don't even want to go they did that and for 45 minutes they did that and the whole bottom of the stadium grass were filled after 45 minutes one drop being multiplied every sec or every minute. Um, after 45 minutes, this is where it was. 45 minutes it took, and the whole grass level was was um, closed. So if you if you stood in the middle of that um, that rugby field, your feet would have been underwater, ankle deep. Okay. So my question to you is, how long did you think, if you were sitting in the stands, if you were that little small person sitting there at the top? on the cheap seats, you bought yourself cheap seat tickets and you're sitting there at the top. How long do you think it will take for this stadium to overflow? Okay, are you ready for this? Four minutes later. On minute 49, this stadium will overflow. And guys, this is the power of multiplication and this is what we do. So where you are at now, you've been working on this business maybe for a year, maybe for a year and a half, and you spoke to five people and none said yes, and you spoke to 50 people and two said yes, and then one fell off the bandwagon, another one stopped using your products and you started from the beginning again. You are only working on your 45 minutes because people who also are like in, in a multiplication um, phase or a networking phase and they start working on this business in like from 45 minutes up to 49 minutes four minutes later your business is going to tip it's going to be like a, a tipping point for your business and your teams are going to start growing and you're going to sit back and you're going to think where does all these people come from where is you know where's all the money coming from where's everything happening from you don't understand and realize it it's because you've put in the 45 minutes of work. So if you are at a level where you want to give up, where you think, no, I cannot do this anymore. I get too many no's. Just think of this 45 minutes that you're working on your business for you to eventually reach that four minutes where the tipping point is 
we all drown in the rugby stadium and all of that water in there is actually money and your teams. And all of us are going to look at the multiplication and how that grew and how you have worked hard and eventually you will start seeing the amazing, um, yeah, the amazing work that, um, that you are going to do. So yes, that's it from my side. Multiplication, guys. You know, well done, yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh, and, it's, and it's what you say, you know, uh, the tipping point is where we all strive to get to. And in the beginning, remember, network marketing is not a, it's not a get rich quick uh, uh, business. This is a proper business. So this, is, this requires work, but it's fun work because all that you have to do is bring four people into your team and teach those four people to bring four people. And you will see how quick exactly what Andre just showed you now. The drop of water every minute just expands, expands, and momentum happens. When momentum happens, you don't need to go look for people anymore. They come to you. They come to you. And that's what you got to, that's what we're going for. The people will come to you. So that's why network marketing produces the most millionaires yearly. Because those people that stay, that stay the course, I have that example with a bus driver. Now you're a bus driver and you're driving the bus and you stop at a bus stop. People get off and people get on. And you carry on driving, driving, driving. People get off, people get on. It's network marketing, same thing. But those people that are on that bus, those are the people that are going to make the money. So Yulandi, uh, your side, I'm excited about tomorrow night and this is what we're doing. Tomorrow night is the start to build the momentum because this tomorrow night and Thursday night is going to lead to lots more things. You know, Africa is on the map now. Southern Africa is, the engine's on, I can feel it. The engine is on, I'm, I'm, I'm excited, I'm, I'm, you know, there's a lot of things happening, a lot of things coming, and trust me, those that stay are going to, are going to, are going to, Thank the thank they're gonna thank us. They're gonna thank their lucky stars that they stayed. So you love it. Yeah, thank you so much, Nick. Andre and Nick, what a great way to um share the vision and the story behind momentum. And I love both your stories. Every time when I see it, I just feel so inspired and motivated. And um, you know, I just for short want to to give you six tips, okay, for momentum and for you to focus on. And this is six of probably some of the most important points for your business, for myself as well. So here are the key points to consider for keeping the momentum in your business. Number one, set a clear goal. Okay, set clear goals and objectives. Do set your goals that are that are ambitious yet achievable for you because for everyone, everyone's goals are different. So break down your goals into smaller, more manageable, manageable tasks and establish achievable milestones to ensure progress. Number two, foster a positive company culture. Creating a positive and productive work environment can greatly impact the success of your business. And that is what Henri and Nick also mentioned. So encourage openness, collaboration, and creativity. Those are very important, especially in the industry and at the, um, you know, the business that we are in. Number three, invest in your teams. Your teams are your most valuable asset. Invest in their growth, invest in their development, and invest in their training. And this can lead to increased motivation, engagement, and productivity. Number four, focus on your customers, okay? And why am I saying that? Because if you focus on customer satisfaction, that is, that is the forefront of everything you do. So satisfied customers can be the driving force behind the growth of your business because they will advertise your business 
by word of mouth. It's not just how the product is going to make you feel, but it's also how the person you are going to deal with going to, um, to feel. And that's why we always, myself, Nick, and Henri, always, always, always say that you guys need to understand the difference between a transaction and a transformation. A transaction is purely going to a pharmacy or a store, getting your product from the shelf, Bob's your uncle. There's nobody that's giving you support. There's nobody that's giving you any value to the product that you're drinking. But if you focus on a transformation, you are focusing on building a relationship with that person, really caring and also listening to their needs. So I know most of us, we tend to, um, I know that myself, Nick and Henri suffer from verbal diarrhea and we're very good with that. But we tend to speak way too much and not listen. But if you just take one step back to say, what is your concerns? What is your concerns in your life currently health-wise and the people around you? And you give them the opportunity to, to speak and tell and share with you. You immediately, when you speak to them, your light bulbs go on because it triggers you what your product can work for. Number five, stay innovative. And I've seen it now over and over and over. If you stay in, uh, innovative, you stay on top of the industry trends and the emerging technologies. So if I learn, you learn. If you learn, your team learn. If your team learn, the, their team learn, right? So embrace change and be willing to take calculated risks in order to stay ahead of the competition, which is very important. I, I, you know, I read a post of two phenomenal business boss babes in Australia that started with our company eight years ago, because yes, we are a global company. We only recently started tipping our toes into the ocean of Africa. And they said they made, you know, they took calculated risks and made mistakes, but look at them now. They've built a tribe with a vibe, and that is what you need to do. Okay, so embrace it and stay on top of it. Number six, measure and analyze your progress. Very important. If you do not have a goal, if you do, do not have a look at it, if you do not follow up in your business, you can also not see your growth, and you can also not see the growth of your Team. So regularly monitor your results and gather feedback from your team and gather feedback from your customers, which is very important. This will allow you to make adjustments and stay on track and um, stay on track towards your goals. So remember, keeping momentum in business requires not just hard work, but also consistent efforts towards improvement and growth. So in a nutshell, those are six of the most important things that a person needs to look at. And yes, we say consistency is key. And yes, we say all these things, you know, that that we speak about. But biochemistry fully oh. accredited. Thank you, Angela. That was a wonderful <laughs> comeback there. I'm just, I'm, I, I, for some other reason, I can't mute. I'll so, um, okay. But um, yeah, those are six points. And feel free if you want me to type them out for you. Feel free if you want me to share it with you guys, then I can do that. But um, just look at it and just remember that we are in this business, not just by uh, now my head sorry my daughter just came in so i'm trying to look at her and i'm trying to speak to you guys but you, you, yes you but you've got you've got a such a huge 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 community that will uplift empower inspire and motivate you and be your biggest cheerleader to achieve all the success you deserve in your business 
But just like I said today as well, you must remember in this business, you will get out of it what you're going to put into it. So if you are going to use it as just a little sideline and I don't really care, then your money is going to roll in, but you will never see growth. So decide, get your goals, measure your goals and just kick ass. Yulandi, what do you always say before I give it to, to Andre to close us out, but yulandi has got a famous saying, and I love it. As long as you open your mouth, the shop's open. And that's Yay. what you're going to do. Keep talking. Keep talking. Tell your story. Your story is what sells your business. People don't buy um, the name of the They buy what the product does, and they buy because of you. Just remember that. The same with the events that are coming up tomorrow night and Thursday night. You know, before yeah. I hand over to Andre. You, you know bring what people, needs... Bring people there, and as long as you bring people there, I promise you those people will sign up in your team. They'll sign now, up. If you, start, if you start focusing on sharing your experience and what the product and the business has done for you, that is a feeling that other people want. So it's, it, it, it's really so off-putting. Think about it of an insurance person phoning you every day for a new credit card or a loan. You just put the phone down. But if you really stand in front of a person with a heartbeat and they say to you, this is what it's done for me, people want that. They want that feeling. They want to feel how you are feeling and the people around you. So yeah, in a nutshell, those are my six points. And... How do you always say, Nick? <laughs> that is my story. And we are all three sticking to that. Guys, thank you so much. We would really like to invite you. It's still not too late to join one of the two meetings. If you know someone, go and write down, go through your book, go through your phone book. Um, and look at people. Don't think, don't make decisions for other people. You never know when someone is a place and they've asked for a sign and your message pop up and it's like, Maybe you need to go and check it out, guys. I've heard thousands of stories like that. So we would like to encourage you. We will gladly host your guests and we will not take them. We will send them back to you, but we will gladly share the experience that we have and that we can then, um, you know, take it from there. From our side, we would just like to say consistency, like we said, is key. Make sure that you keep a consistent pace. Even if it's one minute a day that you spend on your business, don't let one day go by that you don't speak to someone or that you don't use your own products or that you don't inspire someone else with the good news of there is definitely something out there that can change your life. Guys, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thank you for, the, for watching the recording. We are um, so grateful to do this journey with you and we are looking forward to meeting you in person. Have a great evening. Bye-bye. Good night, everyone. See you tomorrow. Bye.